Tabitha McTavish had experienced quite a number of things in her eight and a half years on this wonderful planet of ours, but she was almost certain she had never experienced a shop in a pocket. What do you mean, a shop in his pocket? Tia whispered, trying not to wake Uncle Mac McTavish from his forty winks. Just what I said, there's a shop in Uncle Mac's pocket. Now, Uncle Mac McTavish had come all the way from Scotland. Oh, hello, you lot! To visit his little brother, who lived with his family in Ohau Street. Tabitha McTavish was Uncle Mac McTavish's niece. Tia was Tabitha's mate. Now, every time Uncle Mac met someone new, he'd bellow out in a big old jolly voice, Oh, well, hello, you lot! Pop his hand into his pocket and pull out the perfect gift. And I mean... Perfect. The one thing you and only you knew about. The one thing you'd always wanted. There you go. Hope you like it. Tabitha and Tia had a plan. Every afternoon, Uncle Mac had a nap. He'd take off his big old coat, hang it over the door, and off he would pop to Forty Winks land. Tia kept lookout while Tabitha went in for a look. And you found a shop in Uncle Mac's coat? Tia was just a little bit more than confused. How'd you get a shop and a coat? What do you mean? I just, I just don't, I don't, I don't get it. Tabitha explained. I was rummaging around trying to find the pocket in his coat when I got all tangled up in there and like in the lion and the witch and the wardrobe there was a door so I opened it and there was this little old Scottish lady in a shop. It was a shop that was not like a lot of shops but a shop it was indeed. A shop that was not like a lot of shops that has just what you need. It's full of dreams and chocolate ice cream and toys for boys and girls. A shop that's not like a lot of shops like nothing in this world at all. Tia was curious. This I've got to see. Come on, while he's still asleep, let's have a look. So off. Tia and Tabitha crept and sneaked. Tabitha and Tia snucked and peeked. They climbed under Uncle Mac's raincoat and started rummaging around looking for that door. And just when they were about to give up, Tia, over here! And sure enough, just to the left of the inside right pocket was a door that had the words exit written above it. In here! And Tabitha turned the handle of the door and they went in. Friend, I told you yesterday, you should use the pocket. No one uses the door anymore. Tia and Tabitha were indeed inside a shop that had everything. The walls were covered in shelves and the shelves were packed and they're bursting with all kinds of everything. Think of anything. Go on, close your eyes right now and imagine anything. Yeah, there was one of those. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, there was one of those. Oh, yeah, there's loads of those. Can I help you with anything in particular? Or are you just browsing? The funny old lady behind the counter inquired of the two girls. Um, where are we? Tia asked. You're in your Uncle Mark's cool pocket. Where'd you think you were? And right about then, the whole shop started to wobble a bit, shake a bit. It's me, it's just your Uncle Mark. And the girls held onto the counter as the whole shop wobbled and wibbled. He's just putting his coat on. Holy cow! How will Tia and Tabitha get out of this silly little dilemma? That's a secret. But listen out next time and you might just find the answer. Until then, kaki te ano.